It's the biggest rail shutdown on record and a nightmare for passengers. We want to apologise in advance of that for the inconvenience. It's being sold as commuter pain for project gain, like works on the metro tunnel, level crossings, signal and power upgrades. We've got to get on and get this done. Between April 1 and 23, the Sandringham, Frankston, Cranbourne, Pakenham, Gippsland, Glen Waverley, Moonda, Geelong and Warrnambool lines will be closed, replaced with buses. And the Ballarat line will close even earlier between March 22 and 31. I think it's incredibly inconvenient, very disappointing and very frustrating. Only Gippsland line commuters will get a free ride. The rest will have to line up for a bus or find alternative travel. We've got a multitude of buses, we've got more than 600 buses out there being able to move passengers around. But commuters aren't happy with longer journeys. It kind of sucks, but uh, kind of have to go with it. It's painful. I will find other ways to get to work because I cannot handle a bus in an extra hour and a half on the, uh, on the commute. The rail shutdowns will affect three rounds of AFL games at the MCG, but the government has decided to extend the free city tram zone to help out fans struggling to get to the ground. The opposition says the government should consider compensation for annual Mikey holders. They've got to come up with a package that's fair. They've got to come up with a package. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.